Dr. Jayashankar, India today is a bigger, bigger economy than Britain. Uh, it is a geopolitical power. It is a post-colonial country that dominates the originally English sport of cricket. Would you call it a reversal of power? Would I call it? A reversal of power. I would call it rebalancing, but I would also say this is history which is switch hitting. It's hitting the other way. <laughs> right? Not far wrong. Uh, but, no, but seriously, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, in history, you have these ups and downs. It's not often that actually uh, countries get a second or a third bite of the apple. Uh, I think India today is in a very unusual position uh, that uh, uh, it is once more a very decisively upwardly mobile, which a lot of other civilizational states, uh, barring one actually, uh, are not uh, anymore in a position to do. Uh, and, uh, you know, where, where the UK is concerned, I think it's a very complex relationship. I mean, there's a, there's a lot, uh, uh, you know, the, the most uh, popular film in India last year uh, was a film called RRR. Uh, and this was, had to do with the British era and just, uh, I'm trying to put it delicately, you were in the nice, you were in the nice guys in the movie. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the reason I said... Can I sit here as a South African? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, well, you know, the, the fact is, uh, when you have this kind of complex history, uh, there would be the, the downside of it. There would be the suspicions, there would be the unresolved problems. Uh, uh, at the same time, there will be bonds, there will be similarities. And, and uh, uh, you know, cricket uh, happens to be uh, one of them. Now, in terms of the shifting weight of cricket, uh, uh, when it started to shift, actually people, I think, suggested we were better at the business of cricket than in the game of cricket. I think by now, barring this match, uh, uh, by now, I think the game of cricket has shifted, shifted as well. Would you say we've also aced the politics of cricket, not just the game? We've been able to successfully weaponize it, specifically against some of our Western neighbors. No, I, I, I wouldn't. We don't weaponize anything. We are nice people. <laughs> uh, I, I, I strongly, I strongly uh, rebut that. Look, uh, I, you know, uh, when anything is successful there's a natural desire to be part of that. Now, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's understandable, but if you want to be part of what is, what is good, what is decent, what is doing well in the world, then it's also uh, uh, expected that uh, the rest of your behavioral pattern would, would reflect that.